how to respond to backhanded compliments, and other holiday delights. What do I say? Dan the Gunner Training dot com. So tis the season. Tis the season for holiday parties, office parties, and all sorts of wonderful gatherings where people will be bringing tidings of comfort and joy and And there's a special type of insult that tends to rear its head at these types of gatherings or these types of parties. Now, this particular insult will rear its head other times as well, but especially during the holidays, I don't know what it is. People, you know, start to get in the eggnog and they get a little bit loosey-goosey and they start to tell you how they really feel. Remember, tip number one. I love you. Do not. Do not drink at holiday parties. If you follow that rule, you will never be sorry. I'm funny, waka waka. Having said that, let's say that you're talking to someone during this holiday season or any other time, and they give you a backhanded compliment. Remember that a backhanded compliment is a special form of passive-aggressive communication. And remember that passive-aggressive communication is communication where somebody is being aggressive. You know, they're insulting you or they're abusing you or they're, you know, doing something to try and do you harm. They're just not being upfront about it. So, when someone is engaging in that type of passive-aggressive behavior, a backhanded compliment sounds like... Oh, that is such a great picture of you. How many years ago was it taken, really? Or... Is that your husband? He is so handsome for a Mexican. Mexican. Or... I love your sweater. I am so jealous. I wish I could wear those, but I'm always afraid of looking like a total doofus. Remember, there are three principles that you want to keep in mind when you are addressing this type of behavior. Principle number one. What are your favorite backhanded compliments? Do me a favor. I'd like to compile a list of the top 10 backhanded compliments. So if you could leave them in the comments below, I really want to put together the best list ever. So if you have not done so yet, please like this video and share it. Okay? Principle number one, don't take the bait. Principle number two, what gets rewarded gets repeated. Principle number three, use the broken record. Here's what you want to do. Number one, you want to call them on their behavior. Number two, you want to illuminate the battlefield. Remember, there's a big difference between rising above the battle and illuminating the battlefield. Then you want to, number three, place yourself above the battle. Okay? To do that, here are the words. It's going to sound something like this. Of course, you can change this freestyle script to suit your own personal style and situation, but basically you want to get these words in. Number one, use the person's name. For example, if their name is John. John. And when you say their name, remember, the head tilt is forward. The eyes are open, but not too wide. You know, you don't want to give them the crazy eyes. You just want to say something like, John, you want to appear confident and not passive, which is how you would appear if your head were to tilt to the side, or if your eyes were to go wide, you'd, you know, look a little bit crazy. So a simple head tilt forward, eyes wide, not too wide. Use their name, John. Step number one. Step number two. You don't have to resort to backhanded compliments or other passive aggressive behavior if you want to criticize me. Remember, you're illuminating the battlefield right now. To illuminate it means I'm going to shine light on what you are doing and what's really going on here because that is no fun. You know, when people are using passive aggressive communication, they're hiding behind, for example, compliments that are really thin veils over the insults that they're hurling at you. So when you shine light on them and let them know, you're criticizing me right now and you don't need to do that in such a passive aggressive way. That's really uncomfortable for them, but elevates you. And people who are watching this, if there are people watching, will be so impressed. And then you wrap it up with number three. When you elevate yourself above this person in this situation, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be telling them, I know you're afraid. I'm not. And you're going to say that by saying this. Don't be afraid. Just come right out and say it. I can take it. You know, 
I'm confident. I can handle it. I'm a big boy. And while all of those things are kind of saying you're not, I don't want to be overtly aggressive. You know, I don't want to be insulting. But when you tell somebody you don't need to hide or you don't need to be afraid, what you are saying is your behavior is cowardly. Mine is not. This is how adults communicate. You know, when you tell somebody you don't need to behave in a childish manner, what you're saying is I'm behaving like an adult, you brat. But in this particular instance, it's warranted because you want to call somebody clearly out on their behavior, especially, again, if this is in front of other people. So with step number three, you're simply going to say something such as, don't be afraid. Just come right out and tell me. I can take it. And again, that implies, although you maybe can't. Now, while this is part of our principle-centered communication training program, remember that these three principles on dealing with difficult behavior and difficult people are different from the nine principles. The nine principles is a whole different set of principles for a whole different set of challenges that we face. And if you're a Dan O'Connor Training YouTube member, you get special videos that you can't find anyplace else on YouTube that can really help you heal wounds and relationships and take your communication to an entirely different level. So check that out. Putting those three things together, it sounds something like, John, you don't need to resort to backhanded compliments or other passive aggressive comments if you have something that you need to say to me or if you want to criticize me. Don't be afraid to just come right out and say it. I'm a big boy. I can take it. Or, you know, if it's like at work, just come right out and give me the criticism. I'm a professional. I can take it. When you can do that and you do that, especially in front of other people, and it flows out as if this is not a problem for me. I know how to handle this type of behavior. It takes all the fun out of it for the other person. You know, that is not fun. That is not rewarding the behavior. That is not taking the bait. That is addressing the behavior, illuminating the battlefield, rising above it, and showing everyone what a polished, professional, savvy, and mindful communicator you are. Now, if at this point they try to make excuses, which they frequently will do, you know, and say things like, Oh, I wasn't trying to do that. I was just, you know, blah, 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 blah. Remember, give them the three-second look. Now, the three-second look is difficult, especially in situations such as these. So if you need to count silently to yourself, just count. One, two, three. Or you could recite the three-second look song from our Step Out of the Shadows and Speak program, which you will find, by the way, a special holiday link for below. So if you haven't had a chance to get some of the premium resources from DanOConnorTraining.com where you'll find more things like the three-second look, check out the special YouTube link below because we're extending some of our holiday Black Friday and Cyber Monday specials through the end of the year just on YouTube. So check those out. And once you've done that, you will blow them away. You will show everybody there that you are a force to be reckoned with, especially during the holiday season. So for everybody here at Dan O'Connor Training, I hope that this holiday season, you find yourself surrounded by people that you love and that love you right back. So for everybody here at Dan O'Connor Training, this is Dan O'Connor. And if you want to continue the learning, make sure to do three things. It's simple. Number one, press the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. Then step number two, click on the link below where you can download your free professional communication starter kit. You are going to love that. Consider it my holiday surprise for you. And once you've done that, come back here and enjoy some more of these great videos. So for everybody here at Dan O'Connor Training, this is Dan O'Connor signing off.